Hey, welcome back to screwing up the bathroom part. I don't know. I don't know what part this is. Check that out. That was where the uh, plumbing vent went up through the roof. I had a feeling it was leaking. And I was right. It was leaking. So I was like, yeah, screw it. Let's uh, redo it all. So I was out here. I did part of this last year because the roots were in right there real bad where the pvc meets it was broken there it was a lot of roots stuck in there and then it was broken f a little bit further down and roots were growing in there so did all that last year and then i was like you know what i should redo all the cast iron i should redo all of it um so i got my uh whatever that thing is the uh hammer drill out, chiseled out the block. So I got this part out through that. And then like, check that, see how clogged that nasty, that pipe, that's pretty gross. That was for the sink. I got part of it redid, uh, redone the other, like last year as well. I think it was last year. It was just really bad. And that was the furthest I can, or that, the closest I could get to the end of this pipe. So it all needs redone. So I got all this broken out. I used, I was going to use the chain uh, pipe cutter, the rigid chain tile pipe cutter. Um, and it wouldn't fit back between this wall and the pipe so i had to use my angle grinder and then the old hammer so i cut out a section as deep as the uh grinder would cut because you got the head of the grinder and it would hit the pipe and the disc diameter is not big enough to go through the whole three inch pipe so i cut a section this way and then i cut a section this way and then I was able to just smack it with the hammer, break that out, uh, get the grinder in a little bit more, break it. And then I did the same thing down here. Not, not, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy. Um, it, easier than I thought. So that's kind of good. But I pulled this up as well, the toilet to get back there and to just redo it. My, I mean, it's all apart. So it was like, I might as well. Uh, go back through it and redo it and I kind of want to pull the tile the floor tile off and redo the floor so I want to try and get a level it would be nice but it is a lot more work and then as you can see down here chiseled that out it was pretty easy because I got this uh this hammer drill with a few bits of chisel as well. Um, I think it was like 30 bucks at an auction. I mean, that's a heck of a deal. Real nice, big, solid, uh, it's upstairs. I can show it to you, but uh, Bosch, like a bulldog or something, I don't know, but worked a lot better than I thought at breaking that out. So that's ready to come out here. That's ready to come out. That's loose, this is loose, and then I, Kind of spilled some nastiness, so it kind of stinks down here right now. I'm gonna have to clean that up. But I'll redo all this and be, see. They redid some of it, but this bathroom just sucks. Like that—that that was brand new. I had that put in when I moved in here ten years ago. Actually, no, maybe uh, five years ago when I bought the house. No, when I started to buy the house. Um, I don't know. It's been a while, like three to five years, because I did rent the rent to own for a little bit. Uh, land contract is what it's called. But you redid this because it was leaking onto the floor, and I didn't want the toilet leaking into the house. So yeah, you see that's all ready to go. But that's the that's where I'm at right now. And there's the chain one that I used to break right here. Pretty easy. So that's that's what I'm doing, and then putting this whole assembly back together. So 
show you guys that later.